Tom Sweeney, not be fucking back. What do you want? What do you want? I need to know if you have identification. Can you verify who you are, please? I'm Tom Sweeney, and I'm being held against my will. Do you have an identif- Do you have I'm an ID? I'm being held against my will. Do you have everyone, an identification? Everyone, he's hurting me. Do you have a driver's license? I do. Oh, well, you know what? Let me shake your hand. That means I agree with everything you have to say. Really? Yes. You know, you know I, I explicitly hate homosexuals. I guess I agree then, huh? Do you have a do you have an ID? What do you mean? Do you own an identification of some kind? I have two. You have two? Yeah. That means I agree with you twice as much. Thank you very much. And I have somebody else's. I have two other IDs. You have somebody else's IDs? Yeah, remember we had that fucking white kid's ID? Okay, wait, we actually have to stop recording if that's Hey everybody, okay, so the lighting's all fucked up. We gotta fix up all these lights. Hey everybody, Chris Raygun here. Welcome to another episode of Glasses Off, the show where we talk about some of the topics we'd normally cover in a Raygun recap, normally cover in a standalone Chris Raygun episode, uh, but instead kind of forego the character, forego the wackiness, forego the zaniness, forego the editing, and uh, just kind of stick to a more basic format. I'm just going to tell you what I think about uh, a topic that vaguely interests me. I'm not going to lie, it's been very difficult to come up with topics to do Glasses Off videos about because... I feel like in the last year or so, I've become very, very jaded, and I feel like I've just cared significantly less about everything that's happened, just because I feel like nothing shocks me anymore. Like, if this was a year ago, I definitely would have made a video about the red pill black stuff, but now it's just like, yeah, of course that happened. I'm not surprised at all, I have no drive to talk about that, because I just don't, it doesn't surprise me. But the topic that we're going to be talking about today uh, endlessly amuses me uh, because it revolves around uh, the English language and people's inability to use it. I've been called a grammar Nazi in the past, which I guess wouldn't be an inaccurate description. Uh, I, I do care a lot about the English language, and I care a lot about the words that we use, and how we use them, and what they actually fucking literally mean. I care about those things. What a moran I am! Now this may or may not be a niche topic, depending on uh, whether or not you, the viewer, are uh, on Twitter and understand how Twitter works, uh, but I'm just going to lay the groundwork for you guys. Now, on Twitter, like various other social networking platforms, there exists a status called verification. Essentially, a verification tick uh, verifies that the person is who they say they are. For example, if you look on my channel next to my name, you will see a check mark that is a verification check mark, so you know that I am actually me. So somebody can't rename themselves Chris Raygun and use my profile picture and then pretend to be me and upload shit and trick people into, into subscribing to them, or trick people into, into thinking that they, they're me uh, when they comment in somebody else's uh, comment section. This has been what this check mark has meant since basically the inception of a verification tick online. There is literally no circumstance that I can think of where a verification has ever meant an endorsement by the website in question. But for some bewildering reason, uh, many people, and, and I'm not talking about many people, many high-profile people have taken to their Twitter accounts to basically imply that a verification tick is an endorsement of whoever is verified by the website that they are verified on. Specifically, Kumail Nanjiani, who uh, recently tweeted this out, at Jack, and for those of you who don't know, Jack is the owner of Twitter, uh, this is who organized the white power rally where a woman was murdered. Then he mocked her on your platform. Why is he verified? You cannot ignore this. Your platform has been used to harass and attack. Your support of a white nationalist here is impossible to ignore. You have to be impressively brain dead to ever have even thought that a verification tick is a symbol of support. You, you actually have to be genuinely retarded. And if you're in the audience and you're squirming at the fact that I just said retarded, good, that's how I want you to feel. That's literally the only reason I said it. Imagine for a moment, imagine for a moment operating under the frame of mind that anybody who can prove who they are <laughs> has the endorsement of a fucking major corporation. Imagine that. Imagine for a moment believing that while Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are both verified on Twitter. Do you think Twitter is just a schizophrenic person? Does that mean Twitter supports both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton? Twitter.com, the ultimate centrist. I honestly, genuinely, would not be making a video about this if, if, if the frame of mind wasn't so incomprehensible. Uh-oh, guys, the government of Pakistan has a verification on Twitter. A normal person would look at that and suggest uh, that that is, yeah, that's the official uh, account for the government of Pakistan. Uh, but no. Uh, turns out, I guess, uh, Twitter supports the harboring of Osama bin Laden for several years. 
Good job, Twitter. Let's see who else has a verification tick. Let's just let's just operate on this faulty logic for fun. Let's play a game, guys. Let's just play this this amazing game. Uh oh, guys. Uh, Harvey Weinstein is verified on Twitter. I guess Twitter supports uh, the various rapes that he committed. Hey, look at that. Kumail Nanjiani is verified. That means uh, Kumail Nanjiani is being supported by people who support Harvey Weinstein. That's pretty fucked. I can't. Do, that is wow. Somebody needs to check check this out before they wreck this out. That's not how that phrase goes. Hey, look at that. Pope Francis is verified. Isn't that just a wonderful thing? I'm so happy to see this. I wonder if the Church of Satan has a verification tick. Oh, look, it does. Kathy Griffin is verified. Anybody who supports Kathy Griffin is... I mean... That speaks for itself, I think. Now, I could play this game for hours, but I understand that at this point, you kind of get the point. You kind of get the idea that I'm driving at. A verification tick on Twitter and on any other website literally exists just to be able to prove that the person is who they say they are. But now, Twitter's going around taking verification ticks away from uh, white nationalists, alt-right people, and conservatives, and it's like, okay, I don't like these people. But by taking their verification tick away, when it really is only supposed to suggest that these are who these are the people they say they are, you are now giving it the power that you have already in the past declared it not to have. I don't care for Richard Spencer. Richard Spencer is a walking punchline to me. But by taking away his verification tick, you are now changing the definition of it from being a, verif a verification of who this person is to somebody who we deem worthy to verify. And if you're going to play that game, then you're going to have a fucking mess on your hands. And you know what, even though I think this is really stupid, and I think anybody who buys into the idea that a verification is uh, a fucking endorsement is retarded, even though I think that to be true, it's Twitter's own fucking fault. I have tried to get verified so many times. I've sent them my fucking ID, I've sent them several articles that have been written about me because that's apparently the shit that you need, and they refused to do it. They, they treated the verification symbol like fucking recon armor, and uh, and because it was so difficult for people to get, even though it was easy for many people to prove who they were, this, this all fucking fell on them. It's Twitter's own fucking fault. And by the way, if you're complaining about this whole situation in the way that Laura Loomer is <laughs> complaining about it, sh shut, the, shut the fuck up. Twitter taking away your verification tick is not a fucking, is not censorship. It's dumb, misguided, pointless, and idiotic, uh, but it's, it's not censorship. You can still speak your mind on Twitter, and a any value... Or, or status that you put on a verification tick is exactly the kind of thing that should not be there. And it's exactly the kind of thing that people like Kumail Nanjiani perceive. They perceive it as a status symbol. It's not. It's a valid identification and nothing more. Okay, so that went on way longer than I had anticipated it to go on for. That felt good. I, I needed a video to just ramble around in. I haven't had a chance to do that in a while. Everything, everything recently has been very tightly scripted and very tightly, uh, uh, tightly planned out. It's good to have ramble sessions every now and again. But anyway, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for swinging around. Thanks for, uh, thanks for whistling your sweet, sweet song in my, in my comment section. I really appreciate it. If you're expecting a more comedic video, I apologize. Uh, next video should be more your speed. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to getting that out. I lost my blue. Check mark on Twitter. I'm fucking dumb. I want to die. I have no eyes. I can't see definitions, I'm fucking retarded, I should just leave. That's my song parody of the day, I, it's, it's gonna be, it's, that's it for me. Literally almost broke the TV that I, I just got. So I'm gonna have to rescind what I said earlier, I can't actually agree with you based on uh, the fact that you have identification, turns out that's a really bad way of deciding who to agree with. Oh, oh, well, I, I've got a degree, very high-end degree, and actually I'm a doctor, doctor of uh, Ritalin, and all, all sorts of Ritalin, but mostly Ritalin. You see, I, I, man, I need, I need some fucking dick. That's a 10-minute video, gotcha, now I'm going to make all sorts of money. Don't, don't do this. <laughs>